Today on the channel via NECA, Shadow Master Super Shredder. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for a NECA Ninja Turtles review and this time we got a special one, a Walmart exclusive Super Shredder. Uh, the old Super Shredder was a Walmart exclusive as well, or NECA online exclusive, but this is the Shadow Master Shredder figure. Uh, loosely based on the Chef Boyardee Super Shredder from the Playmates day back in the day, uh, that's what it's based off of. We'll see how I think about that. I did not own that back in the day. I did not buy those Playmates. I was all out on the Turtles after maybe the first two series as a kid. Um, I liked them, but I just had other things I was into. G.I. Joe being one of them, wrestling being one. And when you're a kid, you can't get everything. Your parents aren't going to buy you everything unless you're really, really lucky. Um, but I dabbled. I dabbled like I do now. I dabble. Um, but this is a pretty cool one. I'm going to tell you right now, I know a lot of people got the old-fashioned turtle anxiety going on with the Super Shredder. Do not worry, because what we're seeing online right now is when the stores get this, they're getting 12 to 20 of these at a time. It just may take some time for your store to get these, but definitely play the long game. Don't go to the scalpers. Don't go to eBay for this quite yet. Give it a month. Give it a month. Then if you really have to have this, pick it up. But uh, this is coming in crazy quantities to the stores from what I'm seeing. And from what I've seen firsthand with my own eyes, uh, these are really going to hit the stores pretty hard. So just be patient. You'll get yours. Don't spend 100 bucks online or whatever it would be. Absolutely crazy. And to be honest, I think uh, this one will be as much of a peg warmer as turtle NECA figures get. It's really not. Uh, they don't really go hand in hand. But this one, you're going to have a lot of people that got the old Super Shredder. We'll compare the two uh, later in the video. you got a lot of people that picked that one up that will totally pass on this. They want one Super Shredder. They don't need a second one that's pretty similar. So I do think this one will be a peg warmer. Uh, I've already seen the Splinter Shredder 2-pack. I have seen that on clearance in my travels if you follow my action figure hunts. I think three times I've seen that thing on clearance. So we're starting to get to the day where Turtle Anxiety is coming to an end or getting much better. As we're seeing, we're seeing it at Target as well. It's getting easier to find these things. I say it all the time on the channel. All these companies, Mattel, Hasbro, NECA, whoever, hey, they want your money. Believe you me, they want every dollar you'll give them. It just takes a while with COVID and all that fun stuff to ramp up production. And NECA seems to be the first one that's really started to ramp up production. And I think that goes to them being a smaller company than your Mattel and Hasbro's out there. Uh, it's just going to be interesting. I say it all the time as well. What happens when world gets back to normal? Everybody's vaccinated. People start going on vacations again. Uh, there's going to be a part of the toy industry where there's going to be a ton of product because that's the way people have been buying the last year. And it's going to come to a screeching halt as people are going to jump out of collections and spend their money on restaurants, vacations, things like that. And we're going to see an influx of toys. And I think some of these things are not going to sell. We're going to see some deep clearances and we're also going to see people selling their collections. I've been saying it for a while. I do feel it's coming. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But let's get back to the Super Shredder. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Then we'll unbox it. We'll talk about it. And then we'll compare it to the prior Super Shredder. So there it is. One thing I'll note, this packaging is awesome. I love how glossy it is. It has a great feel to it. Um, very, very cool packaging. Most of these turtles, if not all of them, I guess I would say, have cool packaging. But this could be the best feeling packaging of all of them. Seems kind of weird to talk about that, but definitely has a cool, shiny gloss to it. Uh, almost like a, a trading card, a, a fancier trading card to it. Very, very cool. Kind of the black wash to it. There's Shredder on the front. Like it says down by my fingers down there, Shadow Master Super Shredder. Very, very cool. Blacked out, murdered out. Got the Nickelodeon logo up top there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Yeah, you never know what might be in that ooze. Every once in a while, my kids will be playing with like glue and slime and stuff, and I'll see a big pile of ooze on my table. I say, well, what is this? What is the secret of this ooze? And it's usually some kind of slime. Uh, same thing on the other side. And then, of course, the top. Secret of the ooze again. And then the bottom, you got the UPC, and you got the credits, who worked on this, all that kind of fun stuff. And then the back, you got a little glamour shot. You got Treader just lovingly looking at that canister. Just says, oh, I just I love this stuff. It's like he's got a brand new uh, Monster Energy drink. He's ready to pound it. He's just enamored with it right now. 
Uh, as we all know with the NECA figures, one thing we love about NECA figures is, uh, yeah, they're in a box. People display them like this, but they got the window with the Velcro. Always thought it's cool. You got the glamour shot of Shredder there. And, of course, you got Shredder in the package. So we're going to open them up. We're going to talk about it. But, yeah, there's a million twist ties. So let me unbox this, and we'll get down to it. Well, I haven't unboxed it yet. I figured I better show the plastic prison shot. That's one of the most important shots of a review. So I wanted to show that right there. So I got that. The first thing I noticed when I pulled this out is the cape is an entirely different material. Uh, it's more of like a, I don't want to say leather, but like a soft vinyl, uh, very similar to what we get on some of the Mattel figures for coats and stuff, but definitely an improvement over the last one. We'll talk about that when we open it. Uh, one thing I've noticed, and this is my own bad here, this is my own fault, and I'm the worst at this, and I recommend it a lot on the channel. When you're looking at your figures, uh, and you're going to buy them, and you see a 50 of these shredders, or whatever the amount is, take a look and find the one that has the best paint applications. As I'm looking at this one, his eyes are all over the place. Uh, it, it looks absolutely terrible. He's got one eye that's way down here, and he's got one up here. Uh, that's some bad uh, performance on the old NECA team there. Um, your mileage may vary, but I, I believe I've heard or maybe I saw something that some of the eyes were a little wonky on this one. So definitely check if you're out there buying. Uh, check the eyes out. See what you think on that. But just a couple of comments. Now I'm going to unbox it. We'll get back to it. All right. We got Shredder out of the package. I should show the inside. Very, very cool inside. A little dark gray, black. Really fits the motif of the figure. Uh, this thing smells like uh, plastic, like you wouldn't believe when you open it up. So take a big whiff, get real you know, loopy when you do that. So I might be loopy the rest of the way here. Uh, we do have his uh, staff. I guess we'll call it his staff axe, whatever this thing's called exactly. I don't know the uh, real term for it, but it's the same one as the last one. Uh, no difference there. He does come with the hands as he came with before, all kinds of hands. So choose your own adventure on what hand you want. We also got the TGRI canister. We saw that as well with the last set. We've seen it before. Um, so there is that. The accessory is nothing too action-packed with these. Now looking at the actual figure, uh, obviously a straight repaint. Uh, not a lot of bells and whistles on this one. I said it earlier, if you have the last one, uh, you're probably good with that one. Unless you're just an all-in Turtles person, you want these. Maybe you have a fondness for the old Chef Boyardee one. I don't really count this as a Chef Boyardee one. Our old pal Waylon Jennings, that turtle expert, that outlaw, he, he thinks there's going to be another release of the pure black one. Uh, that's what he's saying. And I wouldn't be shocked. If there's money to be made, they're going to release it. Um, this one almost looks, well, not almost, this is identical to the last one, but it has a black wash to it. Uh, that's what they've done. Uh, the only changes really are is the cape. And it's that kind of faux leather type cape compared to more of the stringy, um, one of last time, and we're going to compare the two here. I'll bring out the old Shredder. For my money, I like this one because this is more accurate to the movie. I do prefer the cape on the new one, however. Uh, the cape is really nice on this one. Uh, if you guys remember my review, I have some holes in my cape, uh, and I think others probably have because of the sharp spikes. And in packaging, there's nothing you can do about it. It puts some holes in this cape. Uh, but the purple on this one really pops. This is the shredder from the movie I know about, that I remember. Um, this really honestly seems like a cash grab. They didn't make enough of these for the collectors that wanted them. But strangely enough, I was in a store that showed on BrickSeek they had this in stock. I went and said, hey, you got some super shredders? Uh, it sounds like they're in the back, uh, most likely. Guess what? They came out with two of these. Very, very strange. These, I thought, have been off the shelf for a little while. Apparently, maybe they're still lingering around. So if you're looking for this one, you still may be able to find this. Uh, but then my beautiful wife, Angie, she just came in hot, went to the store, found this one, uh, found a whole end cap display of these and hooked up old Waylon Jennings and myself. Um, got this. Uh, let's see the eye different. It's definitely the old one. I got better eyes on this one. I talked about that earlier. This one's got some really wonky eyes. It's not going to come up in the camera. You got to look really close. So I, it's not the end of the world. But you guys know how it is. You spend a lot of money on your figures. You'd really like them to be perfect. Um, that's me, for sure. And I'm sure you guys as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Where am I going to display this? I mean, I have this with my turtles. I guess maybe just a one-off shelf. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just basically a darker purple. Uh, I really would have preferred this to be just total blacked out. Just totally black paint across the board. 
And we'll see if Waylon Jennings, the prophecy by that old outlaw, if it comes true, if they do re-release this on a pure black one, are, do we need three Super Shredders? I mean, if you're going to do that, let's wait a couple of years. It's too much too soon if you're going to do another one of those in a couple of months. Uh, give us some time. That would be my recommendation and probably yours too, because then you're going to have people really screaming about a cash grab. But you guys know we talk about it a lot on the channel. You got to get the most of your molds. This is definitely a one-off mold, very expensive to make. You got to find ways. How can I reuse some of these parts? How can I reuse this? And you really can't on this Super Shredder. So it's natural they release this one and Whaling could be onto something. They could have the Jet Black one out there as another one to get the most money to pay off these molds. These molds are very, very expensive. You got to make as much as you can. Um, if not that, then we're going to probably see re-releases down the line where they'll re-release Super Shredder again, uh, stuff like that. Because we always say it, we always talk about it on the channel. Uh, companies, they want your money. They want every dollar you'll give them. Uh, and they want to make money any way possible. And getting the most of their molds is one way they're going to do that. I'm so all in. Uh, if you watch my Super Shredder review of this one, really it's all the same stuff. There's really no differences that I see. There's no helmet differences. There's no anything. It's just all down to the color. And it really does come down to what color do you prefer? Do you like the darker purple or do you like the more bright purple? Uh, it's up to you, I guess. Choose your own adventure, as we like to say on the channel. Uh, but really, uh, probably a pass. If uh, if you don't have to get this, if you got limited funds, if you're not all in on the turtle world, stick to this one if you already have it. But if you miss this one, this isn't a bad choice. I would say for most non-completists out there, pick which one you prefer. Uh, I do think this one will be less valuable, much easier to obtain. So look to that if that's what you're wanting to go. If you want the more classic look, go back and get the classic look. And then we'll understand and see what happens in the future. We might get that totally blacked out one. It's like we'll have a go from purple to a little darker purple to really dark. And we might have three super shredders on the case here before you know it. So that's it. That's the shredder review. You guys let me know in the comments. Did you pick this one up? Do you have plans to pick this one up? Are you all out? Are you all in? You guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, but like I said, Play the waiting game. Don't feed the scalpers on this one. Maybe this one, but definitely not this one. It's too soon. They're coming the next few weeks. And also, if you need those turtle packs, those seem to be coming as well. So play the long game. Getting back in, you can get some turtles, especially if you got that accessories pack coming from NECA sometime in quarter one, they say. You need an extra set of turtles for that. So uh, if you're on the fence, better, better decide quick while those turtles are out on the market because... You don't want to pay aftermarket prices down the road. So that's my thoughts there. But you guys tell me your thoughts on this one. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got videos every single day and then some. Uh, and you know we'll be back tomorrow with another set of videos. So for Super Shredder, two of them, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.